Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us for another episode. Today we're going to be continuing our airbrushing series. I'm going to show you some tricks with a marbling technique and um, trying to get closer to the finish point of this body. Um, so what you see in front of you is the body that we've been working on. If you haven't checked our previous episode, do that now. This will uh, show you how we've gotten to this point, how we've gotten this uh, channel logo on our body here. But we'll go ahead and get started on the next pretty easy technique you can use to get some pretty good results. So we're gonna start with a piece of paper that I've got here. We're gonna grab our brand new bottle of Pearl Blue from Proline. We're gonna um, squirt a little bit on this piece of paper that I've got here. We don't need a lot. We can always do some more when we finish. I'm gonna take a regular uh, like uh, plastic bag. You can get these at Walmart, Kroger. You know, you get these anywhere you go shopping these days. We're just gonna take this and kind of rough this up a little bit. We're looking for these kind of creases in here is what we're after. So like I said, just kind of rough this up real good. Take a little dip in this blue paint here and we're gonna dab out a good majority of this. And you see what we're getting when we dab this out. We're getting this kind of rough kind of a texture here. So we're just gonna dab out some of that. And we're gonna go into our body. I've already peeled out the area that we're gonna be doing this in. And the trick here is don't twist this bag, just press it. And the more of these presses that you do, these more kind of random kind of pressing, this is really what we're after. So we're just gonna press this in here. Now when, that, when we got that little press, we'll come back with this dry portion and kind of dab that out dry. And we're just gonna do this all over the place inside of here to get this nice and covered. Now we'll dip a little bit more and we'll go back to the inside of our body here looking for these random kind of presses. We'll come back to a, to a cleaner section and just kind of dab that out. And you can look in the inside of here and see that this is not very clean. We've made a really good mess in here, but that is okay because the messier that that is, that texture that you see, it, that's what we're looking to show through as far as giving you that marble texture. All right, so now that that's done, we're gonna take our blue paint that we were using from before, the blue paint that we used on our logo, and we're gonna fill in that bottom section there. And just like in our previous videos, we're gonna go nice and slow with our coverages here because we don't wanna overdo it and don't, we don't wanna get a run. Now you can see after our first coat, we are getting that kind of marbly kind of texture in here. So you can do this as light or as heavy as you like. I always personally prefer it to be a bit heavier um, just because I like the texture that it gives me. Now, because the next color we're gonna be painting is gonna be red, and red and blue make purple, I like to seal up this blue here with that silver just to make sure I don't end up with a color that I wasn't intending. But we're gonna get this out of the way here so we don't make a bigger mess with this paper. And whenever our coverage starts getting a little bit low, their odds are we have a little bit of a clog. So I'm gonna address that here and see if we can get some more paint. 
All right, so we had a great big clog in there. You see that big clump of, come on, there we go. You see that big clump of silver there. The silver that I'm using is actually what they call a matte chrome. And this matte chrome gives a unique finish. So I always like to use it when I can, but you do run the risk of clogging up your airbrush with it. All right, now that we've got that silver covered, you can take a look here and see that marbling texture that we have on the inside there. Uh, if you go lighter with this, you're gonna end up with a lighter vein and less of that texture. Like I mentioned before, personally, I like this heavier type of marble, so that's just my preference. All right, so as I mentioned before, our next color on the list is gonna be red. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel up that mask and then we will be back. All right, so I've got those pinstripe lines pulled up here. And you'll notice on this side, I put a little bit of tape in here. I had a little mess up when I went to go pull it up. You can see a little bit of that blue just showing through on the tape. So that's, uh, if you do run into issues like that, you're, there is no substitution for tape. You're still gonna need to kind of use that from time to time. But anyway, we've got that ready here. So let me get um, some paint in the airbrush and we'll get that uh, painted red. All right, now that we've got some red paint loaded in here, we'll just paint these lines. And always remember when you're painting these, be patient, especially with these lighter colors like this red, because they will tend to run if you overdo it. Well guys, I didn't anticipate breaking like right here in the middle of the video, but things kind of lined up perfectly from a end of thought standpoint. I wasn't prepared, so what I'm showing you now is a picture of where I am with the body. If you look really closely up on the hood, you can see a little bit of a teaser of the next video. So that one I'm really excited to show you. There's a lot more cool techniques and things that are worth knowing and learning. So hopefully you'll return for that video. If you've learned anything at all from this video series, please consider hitting that like button. Also consider liking and subscribing 
And also hit that bell notification. I've learned a lot about YouTube lately and the way that YouTube's algorithms work. And apparently if you don't have that bell notification, you won't get notifications that there's a new video that's uploaded. So that might be something you want to do for all of your subscriptions. Just go hit those bells. So anyway, thank you very much for tuning along and I really hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.